Welcome back. Well, on the sidelines of India Energy Week, uh, Manisha Gupta Commodities Editor interacted with Nick Walker, who is the CEO, Kane Oil and Gas, and began by asking him about what he makes of the energy transition and what are the plans of Kane with respect to the energy transition. Listen in. Oil and gas is going to be here for the long term. And, uh, you know, if you look forward in 2050, so 20, 30 years from now, still 60% of India's energy demands comes from oil and gas. But it's important that we do that in a responsible way. And so here at CAM, we've set a target to become uh, carbon neutral or carbon zero by 2050. And, uh, and we've got some really great things going on to achieve that. So it's all about delivering uh, barrels responsibly, low cost, but also with low carbon emissions. And we're, that's what we're about. Mm -hmm. I, I do understand that it's all about innovations, ensuring that the strategies are well planned in a way that there is accessibility, affordability, and also sustainability. How is uh, Kane looking at all of these uh, various aspects? No, it's a, it's a good question. Of course, we have to deliver energy uh, affordably, and, uh, and you know our, our goal is to deliver it as cheaply as we can. But as I say, it's also about reducing carbon, and we're doing some great things. Uh, you know, one of the biggest emitters we have as a business is buying electricity out of the grid, which in, a lot of it in India comes from coal-fired power. Uh, and, and so one of the things we can do is replace that electricity with renewable energy. So we've recently committed to a significant uh, uh, purchase of renewable energy directly from, uh, from, from, from new renewable sources, which is, is great. And we can do more of that. We're, uh, you know, I, w I want to accelerate some of that. The other thing we're doing is what we can't reduce. We're, we're, we're also looking at natural carbon capture, and, and we've committed to, uh, to, to plant uh, 2 million trees by 2030. And I think all of those things go together to drive uh, uh, reducing, uh, uh, reducing carbon emissions. All right. What is the kind of conversation that you had at India Energy Week? Because uh, I do understand that there are a lot of investments that are being talked about, collaborations even. Yeah, no, we, we, uh, we've got a lot going on. Uh, you know, I, I think we've got a lot of opportunity to uh, invest into our assets to support the energy needs for India. Uh, and I want to move those forward as quickly as possible, and we're focused on doing that. Particularly within our Rajasthan block is the near term. There's, there's a lot of opportunity to continue to grow the resource potential there, but also within our exploration blocks. We've got a big exploration footprint. I'm quite excited by some areas. And, you know, if you look at India as a total, as there's, there's 30 billion barrels of yet to find in, in the basins that we've, uh, we've discovered so far, and actually a lot more in the basins that haven't even been explored. So there's a lot of opportunity here to grow the, the oil and gas production in India to support long-term economic growth here. Nick, uh, most people believe that the next five years are going to be crucial, even critical when you look at energy overall as a space. Kane as a company, how are you targeting and shaping up next five years? Yeah, no, our vision is to grow the business to be 50% of India's uh, oil production produced in India, and uh, today we're 25%, so we're driving towards that. And as I say, we're investing heavily to grow our, our resource base and production in Rajasthan, and we've got a lot of projects to do that. But more longer term, it's about exploration, and we've got some exciting things to do there, and we'll be pushing that hard as well. Mm -hmm. uh, also, how are you looking at your spend here? What are going to be your major thrust points going forward? It's about delivering on that vision, actually, and uh, we, capital will be able to be provided to, from the group to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. but it's really about developing the attractive investment opportunities and then getting after them as quickly as possible, and that's what we're about. Any numbers that you can share with us on that? No, I think it's a bit early to say how much we'll invest, but if you look back, we've invested around $3 billion over the last three years, and you know, it's a good uh, sort of trend looking forward, that type of uh, level. But it'll go up and down depending on moving the projects forward. Mm -hmm. What kind of demand are you expecting coming in from India? Because almost everybody seems to be talking about all incremental demand growth coming in from India. Uh, you know, there's, a, there's going to be energy growth in India, material, as, uh, as, the, as the country industrialises and becomes more prosperous. And uh, you, you know, I, I think India can use all the energy it can, it can generate itself or create itself. And so we're here to play a major part in that. I'll wind on the conversation with one final question. And there's just so much macro that we're talking about as well, whether it's about China demand coming back or the changing map with Russia, the way it has been delivering to Asia, and U.S. Uh, with its sanctions, European Union even. How are you looking at the overall energy map changing with politics, geopolitics in favor? 
No, it's changing a lot, and I, you know, I think the drive for energy transition will have an overlay, and we have to play our part, and we are as a company. And but, but principally, uh, the way I look at this, I can't change the macro environment. But what we can do is we can run our business efficiently as we can, and if we do that, well, then we can create value, uh, and that's what we'll aim to do. All right, so that's the word coming in from Kane on the oil and gas space. For the equity markets, it's a mixed day. Bank Nifty underperforming. With that, it's also a wrap on Halftime Report. Business Lunch up next. Stay tuned.